friends, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, I'm Alyssa. I'm Garrett. And we are the Leffersons, and today we are at All Star Movies Resort. We actually just gave a very extensive room tour of our preferred room at All Star Movies, and that was going to be in a totally separate video. We'll put that video linked down below if you'd like to check out and see what the features of the rooms are. But we are going to give you an overview of the entire All Star Movies Resort. We're going to give you a review of it. We're going to try some of the food in this vlog and we're just going to walk around and show you all the lands as well. So make sure to come along with us if you want to see all star movies and almost all of its glory. So just to give you an idea of where the preferred rooms are located, our room is room 939. We are in building 10, which is in the Toy Story section. And it's really great because if you go this way, you are literally only like a two minute walk from the bus. And if you go this way, you are literally only like a two minute walk from the lobby. So it's a really awesome location. So this is the lobby here at All Star Movies. They are doing some refurbishments. I'm not sure what the direction is, but it's like retro. I don't know if it's old enough to be retro or it's like trying to be retro, but they do have a little seating area over here with movies going. Uh, while you primarily will be checking in through your app, they still do have counters where you can talk to concierge. Compared to the pop, these lobbies are significantly smaller. The main building just feels smaller. So as you come through the lobby where we just were, it immediately spills over into the gift shop. So you have Donald's Double Feature, which is the pretty well-stocked gift shop. We explored it the other day. But then right here are restrooms, and uh, phones, but then you have world premiere food court, which we ate at, had a late night snack the other night at. And then if you continue down that way, we'll take you out to the pool and to the arcade. One of the things we always are curious about is what is the food situation at the resorts we stay at? And we found they have a fully stocked, um, it's almost the same drinks as they would have at a DVC resort almost. Mm -hmm. uh, but we actually did get a bottle of wine the other day. The wine is $17 for some Pinot, Chardonnay's 22 I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not gouging. A six pack of Bud Light is 16 bucks. That's a little steep for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then also a whole host of just snacks. They even have little bites. Yay! Um, we love to see it. The bread for you could do PB and J. This is better stock than I remember. If you forget any of your personal care items, they have all of this stuff. They have band aids and drugs and all sorts of stuff. So this is the food court, the uh, world premier food court, and you can mobile order through the app if you don't have the app. Get it right now. Uh, but then you can also just walk in and order. And they do fountain drinks. They actually had a huge menu, Alyssa and I figured out. Um, so we're gonna try breakfast there in a little bit, if we have time. So as you come from the food court and you come this way, you actually head out into the pool, but there are Chase ATMs. If you're a Chase banker like we are, that is awesome. Um, but the, also this is the arcade I was talking about earlier. So to the pool, there is some recreational experiences. They have the pool hours but also movies under the stars. We heard uh, the Avengers running last night, which was pretty cool. So they also do have a bunch of stuff beyond the pool that you can do, uh, but also they have an activity person at the pool that's playing with the kids. It's really uh, allows the parents to just relax and the kids are entertained. So let's actually go check out the pool deck, find the bar, because those go together. So as you walk out from the lobby, Right across from that is the main pool, which is the Fantasia pool. And we actually went to it yesterday, so we're gonna cut to that clip right now. So we are taking a break from the parks, I really and we're by the pool. Location. Yeah, so they have this bar location out here called Silver Screen Spirits. We'll have to get a drink from there later. And then that's the lobby right there. And then right across from the lobby, is the pool. I do have to say the pool area is really neat. It feels like you're at like a pool movie theater. I expect a screen to come down behind Mickey. Yeah, that'd yeah, be that'd be super fun. All right, so let's check out what the pool looks like. This is what the main pool looks like. I love the like Fantasia or the Sorcerer Mickey right there. That's super cute. Well, there's the Fantasia 2000 thing 
over yonder. Yeah, so this is actually the Fantasia area, as you oh. can tell. Oh, the nutcracker. Because they have the broom over there. Oh. Yep, yep, oh, yep. Oh, the hat is yonder. Too. All the way over there. Yeah, we'll have to walk back there later and show In you what this area looks like. I was telling Alyssa that the deck is narrow, but it's, it's deep. Yes, look at all the chairs. And there's a lot of empty chairs here at mid-afternoon. I know it's kind of overcast, but, and a lot of people are at the parks, but if it's hot outside, want, so. If you want sun, this is the pool for you. There's I know. no coverage. <laughs> so we spend a, more time than we thought here at the pool and really love it. But there are a couple features that we want to talk about. They do have pool towels here, so you don't have to bring them from your room. You can take as many as you need, and then when you're done, you can just put it right back in the pool towel return. And if you have little ones, they actually have these uh, floaty guys in multiple sizes. It looks like kind of like a small, extra small, medium, large, extra large for your little ones if you don't want them to you know, sink to the bottom of the pool. And one more thing is at the Value Resorts, you don't get a slide at the pool area. And there's not another pool with a slide or anything like that. You get these water features. The slides are only available at the moderate and up. Across from the pools, they also do have laundry facilities in case if you need to get your laundry done and a bathroom. And then and on this side, we have used the laundry facilities, especially if we've stayed for a longer time. And honestly, it's it's not that bad. All we do is whenever we get back from the parks, we go put it in and then we sit outside and watch TV show or talk to each other. Or you could go to the pool. Or go to the pool if <laughs> yeah. it's open, yeah. Yeah. And then you just throw it in the dryer. I was wrong, there is a splash pad here. So this is what the splash pad is. It's literally just for like babies, obviously. They just have some little mountains. They have a little kiddie pool right there, just maybe like one or two feet deep. And then they have a little uh, splash area right here, so yeah. Right here next to the main pool is right there. And then the laundry and bathrooms and Garrett are right there. All right, here is the menu for the pool bar. I'm kind of zooming in a little bit so you guys can see the options and the prices. I got the Froze that's right underneath Frozen. And then they have beer and wine and some non-alcoholic drinks. Garrett saw the ginger beer there. So he actually got an alcoholic drink with that ginger beer. Oh, Look who I found right here. Welcome to the... <laughs> whatever this bar is. <laughs> Silver screen spirits is what it's called. Silver screen spirits. <laughs> which so, makes sense because we're drinking spirits. Yes. And this is the... That's the Frosé that I got for myself. It tastes like... It's very refreshing. <laughs> I was stuttering a little bit there. And then, and then Garrett. I requested they had... Alyssa noticed they had a ginger beer. And so I was like, oh my gosh, is there a mule? with that ginger beer. I love ginger beer. And I asked, and they said, yeah, what kind of vodka you want? Got Tito's, ginger beer-tastic, yummy yum. <laughs> right next to the Fantasia pool, you also have the directory, basically, which talks about all of the different areas. You've got the 101 Dalmatians area, Mighty Ducks, Fantasia, Toy Story, and the Love Bug area. And then it just kind of tells you where everything is in case if you get lost. <laughs> So the main pool is right there, which we were just at. And behind the main pool is the Fantasia area. I am assuming that this is also part of the preferred room area since you are still close to the pool and the lobby. But they have this nice grass area here. You have the Sorcerer Mickey hat over there. You've got all the Fantasia characters. It is super well themed. Very like old school too. Like not a lot of people I feel like know Fantasia, but it's a fun little area. And as you can tell, all of these sculptures are huge. <laughs> like the Sorcerer Mickey's hat is ginormous. We've got the brooms on each side. I just love the Fantasia area. I love the theming of these value resorts. They're so fun. You will definitely get a more cartoony uh, Disney vibe or theme at the value resorts versus the moderate and the deluxe resorts. There is also a little photo op area right here with Daisy and Donald. How cute is this? We are in the love bug section now. Now this is a little bit further back, a little further from the lobby. So these are more of the standard rooms, a little bit cheaper in price for sure. But it's very awesome. I was telling Garrett, this is like a super cute 
area. I love like the palm trees right here with the love bug right here in the center, winner's circle. It's also really funny that they have a love bug section here because if you follow us on Instagram, love bugs are like all over the place right now in Florida. So I'm like, oh my gosh, we're in the love bug section where there's love bugs flying all around us. <laughs> So the theming is all very cars-ish. There's tires all over the place, screwdrivers, all sorts of tools and little love bugs everywhere. They also have a parking lot back here in case if you are driving, you can park your car back here. So if you're staying at a standard room and you're driving, it's actually kind of nice that you can park your car back here if you want to drive to the parks that way and not have to take the bus. So to give you an idea of where we are, we are in a different section. The pool is actually right behind me. We kind of went around. I'll show you where we are on the map. So now we're actually in the 101 Dalmatians area and it is adorable. You have puppies running along the sides of the buildings. There's bones all over the ground. It is adorable. So let's go see Pongo and Perdita and tell them hi. Melissa and I were just talking and we think that buildings one and or may be preferred because they are so close to the pool. Not 100% sure on that. But so back here in the main area of it is we have a great big pongo over here and his lovely wife, bride, dog mom, Perdita over here. And this nice little open area where kiddos can play inside of a TV. You have a little bit of a photo opportunity and it's just a really cute, uh, let them run around for a little bit space. As you go through the 101 Dalmatians uh, area, the main area, it actually leads over to the Mighty Ducks. So if you are a newer to Disney person, the Mighty Ducks was an animated series that they tried to drum up for a while. So this is actually the Duck Pond Pool. So it's right next to the 101 Dalmatians. So it's, you have a little bit more access to a pool over here. Just like by the other Fantasia pool, this is really nice because they have restrooms and laundry facilities, but it's all themed in this uh, locker room style. Um, and yes, there is the Mighty Ducks movie, like Quack Quack with uh, live people. This is based off the cartoon, but let's go check out this pool deck compared to, uh, to Fantasia. So you have Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> over there playing some hockey. They do have towels so you can wipe away all the water from swimming or sweat when you're giving a tour. Um, but you can return these right away uh, so you don't have to bring them from your room. But then also they have, this is a honestly a pretty large deck. So if you're coming out of the lobby and the Fantasia pool area but next to the bar, back in this hidden little area here is a playground. And I asked Alyssa, I'm like, does every resort have a playground? And she's like, yes, Garrett, every resort has one. I'm like, I must have missed it. I don't play on them. It is a sand surface playground, so the kids, you know, can't hurt themselves too hard. But uh, it's a nice little play area for all your kiddos that need to get a little bit of steam out. The playground was right over there. And if you turn all the way around across from that, you have the real spot. The real spot is actually where they do their movies on the lawn. Instead of on the lawn, they have it under here, which is actually really nice. If it rains, you still get your movie on the lawn. And then they also do all of their activities in here as well. So. You can check out the activity guide in the lobby to kind of find out what activities are going on throughout the day. But yeah, this is what they use this little space for. And it's right next to the Toy Story section. And now we have entered the final area of All-Star Movies and the area that we are staying in. I'm pretty sure the majority of this area is preferred, especially building nine and building 10. And we're staying in building 10, but this is the Toy Story area. It's adorably themed. You have your bucket of toy soldiers on each side with the toy soldiers on top of the buildings. You have little RC right here that the kids can climb on, super cute. And then as you walk down this street in the middle, I love the theming of even like they have a road in the middle of this, of this area. You're going to eventually enter Andy's room. I love this area, just wait. So you open the door and you go through and you see Buzz, you see Blacks, you see Bo Peep and Rex in the middle, you see Woody all the way over here. This is such an adorably themed area. If you have a Toy Story lover in your family, you definitely need to visit this area. It's definitely our favorite area for sure of this resort.
We forgot to mention that in all of the buildings in every single area, they do have stairs and they also have an elevator in the middle of the building in case if you have a lot of luggage, you can carry it up in the elevators. So we're running out of time. We need to get to Epcot and we did not have time to eat breakfast this morning, but we did eat in there last night. So we will put that clip in right now. It's late at night. We just got back from the park and it's 1030. And actually, All Star Movies, the food court doesn't close until 11. That's pretty awesome. So we just ordered food. So we're literally just standing here waiting for our order to be ready. We got our food, and I went with the turkey sandwich to see if it's as good as it is at Pops and all that stuff. The fries, Alyssa got a big old greasy piece of Slice pizza. We were just talking about how good the food is. So we're going to do a super quick review. Garrett loves the turkey sandwich. It's just like Pops, right? Overall, I'm I'm super impressed with the the food and the resort. Our yeah. room is a great location. The resort does, especially this area, feel a little tired. Dated. Yeah, yeah. a little tired. A a little, oh, sorry. A little tired, a little dated. But also, I feel like it also, it's so dated that it almost becomes retro you know right. it's, it's an interesting i think that's kind of the feel that it's supposed to kind of have but i don't know if it was done on purpose or if it's just old enough now <laughs> right so of course his sandwich is really good he said the fries are super fresh even though it's like almost 11 o'clock the food is very fresh my pizza is actually really good too it's like a little bit of a thicker crust fluffy very delicious and warm definitely hasn't been sitting there for a while so yeah overall successful late night dinner <laughs> i'm always down for some good after parts munchies <laughs> And we will also put uh, a little QR code right here if you want to check out the menu for lunch, dinner. They have literally every single option you could ever imagine. And now we are back in our room. I so look so means, sweaty. I know. We literally just walked Ooh. all the way around All Star Movies for you guys. So we hope that this was helpful for you. Mm -hmm. We hope that you enjoyed. If you have any questions about All Star Movies whatsoever, ask any questions in the comments down below and we will try to answer them for you. Also, if you haven't checked out our room tour yet, we will also leave that linked down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe for more Disney content. Content, and we will see you all real soon. Bye guys. We're gonna go to Epcot, sweat and drink. See you later. <laughs> Is that Herbie fully loaded? <laughs> it was reloaded with Lindsay Lohan, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh no. No, I've never seen it. Okay. So this will be fun. <laughs> this will be fun. Okay. It's fine. Are we ready? Are you gonna intro where we are? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, so are you ready? Are you filming? <laughs> I've been. Okay. Oh, you're going to edit this and just okay. laugh. You're in the shot. We are in. No, I'm talking to you.